what's going on it's your boy trey welcome to what can i change y'all can call me trey <laughs> just let me know what you guys think about this picture man listen i don't think huh, let me show you the picture first i don't think the lgbt is completely um satanic um i i think there are people with good intentions but <laughs> I might as well not even say anything. I might as well just start with the butt. Because anything after what I just said was meaningless. Uh, I think that when it comes to the LGBT, the way that they, they come across, um, I do think it does go against nature. Obviously, you guys know my background, and y'all know I'm Catholic. Um, but I'm not quick to come out and say that they're um, satanic. But I am, I am to say that uh, the way that I've been seeing it go, it just makes me question a lot of things. I could see more demonic things in it more and more every time I see the pride, right? I understand there's people who are gay and there's people who are lesbian who don't go out saying we love Satan. There's people who are lesbian and gay who go out and say, look, and there's some people who are gay and lesbian, they don't they don't even they don't even date gay people. They don't date women. They don't do anything. They just live their lives and go on about their days. So I can't speak to each and every one of them. Um, and I, I don't, and honestly, as much as I want to defend those people and be like, well, you know this, I'm sorry. I have to go with what I see the majority of when I go to a proper rate, I don't see the majority of them nice and peaceful. The most of them are saying stuff like this. We saw this not too earlier, earlier. Oh, I forgot what it was about, man. I think I made a video on it though. Anyway. So this video says Satan loves, right? And then, uh, this picture of this guy says not today, Jesus. And it has. The symbol for the devil, which is, you know, the goat. This is actually, I think this is the representation of, oh, I forgot his name. I got his name. It's name. It's a god. I think it's called, is it Ball? Hold on, guys. Let me, just give me a quick second so I don't mess this up. Oh man, I thought it was gonna come up a lot faster than that. I thought it was gonna come up a lot faster than that. So there is a there is a a devil representation or kind of a uh, a representation of a. Hold on, I'll make this quick. Okay, here it is. I know it starts with the B. I can't believe I can't find it. Anyway, so the, anyway, so there's this there's this um, symbol of a, a god who is half man, half woman. So it has like the top area is breast and the top area is a balls and um a testicles right and it, it was supposed to be a representation of what we see it was not a representation of what we see today but that shirt that he's wearing is exactly that same symbol right and i'm so mad at myself i can't find it i'm gonna keep looking for it throughout this video it, it's see it's not balls it's not bow either it's like b-a-l-l b-a-a-l but I, I i can't remember the name and I used to know it so well. Is it this one? I think this is it. Hold on. No, that's not it. Y'all let me know if in the comment section down below if you know who I'm talking about. But there is a de there is a demon or a devil um, figure that is half woman, half male. Um, and it's representation. It shows this kind of stuff. And the only reason I brought that up is because of his shirt. And I'm trying to understand, like, what would be the purpose of this? And he even has that kind of figure of the goat beard that you see in those kind of figures. And I'm just trying to figure out, like, what is the accomplishment that we are seeing in these people these days? Right? I don't understand it. And, and when they put up something like that and they say Satan. In fact, I want to go back to that picture and I want to read the comments. I don't see anybody defending this actually. Yeah. 
I don't understand what they expect people to go in. There's a little kid in the background. I just don't understand what that's supposed to be a representation of. Why Satan? You know, I always see when people say that it doesn't have anything to do with Christianity. People always talk about how Christianity is the one um, that people aren't trying to attack. But it seems like every chance people get, they go after the Christian religion. Like the same people when we saw with those um, drags of debauchery. Y'all know what they're called. Um, the blanks of blankety blank blank that we saw at L.A. Dodgers. Right. Um, we saw them talking about how they don't go after they were talking about, oh, well, there's Buddhist nuns and all that. We saw that whole interview, and they were just like, we don't go after the Christian God. No, that's that's the only one y'all say anything about. They only mock Jesus. They don't mock Buddha. They don't mock anybody else. They only tend to mock, they only tend to mock Christ. And I'm just, I'm just at a point where it's like I can't help but think that these people really hate Jesus. They really hate the Christians. I mean. I just, it's, it's almost clear as day now that these people who are in these pride movements, I mean, they don't kind of hate Jesus. They don't kind of not like him. They're not like non-religious. I mean, they go out of their way to say they hate Christians. They, we are, Christians are more, more mocked and more attacked than I feel like any group these days. Like you come out and say, I'm Christian. People are like, oh, I don't want to hear that trash. Oh, you're this. Oh, you're that. Oh, you're religious. Oh, you're that. We just get beaten and <laughs> it's crazy. But to be honest, just to be honest, this is a quick, serious moment. We all knew this was going to happen. You know, we always knew that the Christian faith would be the one that would be mocked the most. Uh, even though people hate to say that this country was built on those foundations. Perfect. Perfect. Is this country perfect? No, no country will ever be perfect, but it is what it is. But I, don't, I just want to get y'all's thoughts on this. Um, when y'all think about Satan and y'all think about why they would want to just I want to hear y'all's thoughts, really. Why do you think they pick Satan? And why do y'all think they target Christianity more? Because I don't see a lot of these groups targeting, you know, like Muslims. I don't see them even really going after Jews that hard, except for, you know, the whole Kyrie Irving thing and the other thing. <laughs> but do you see them going after any other religion as Hong, Islam, Buddhist? Why do you think that they chose Satan? Why do you think they chose to go after that name? Why do y'all think they choose Satan to... I guess not worship, but to say that he loves like, why do y'all think they picked that way? Let me know why y'all think Christians and all of us are attacked more than other religions. Do you think that's just because that's what this country was built upon? Do you think that's just the best one to go to? You think Christians are just annoying? I really want to know y'all's honest thoughts on that. And I'm so sorry. I couldn't find that thing. In fact, give, give me six, give me, give me 30 seconds of y'all's time. Okay. Found it. It is 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 Baphomet. Baph Baphomet. Baphomet. So look that up. Baphomet. That's I think it's, that's the name of that devil. And I'll show you all a quick picture. This is it. Baphomet. Okay. That's it. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.